you're standing looking at the front doors. This, uh, obviously the interstate wasn't here before. The interstate right over here, or these telephone poles. But what Marty did was take an old picture and put it right on the site where we are now. So this, the stairwell area here, that's what you see right here and here and where he's standing over there, that's this front part of the stairwell. The back part is right over here. These are the foundation for the stairwell because this is the front of the whole church. The actual building is right where I am standing. So you can imagine the door opening up. The first floor was the parish hall. The second floor is the church. We, we have pictures of the inside of the church. Pictures of the inside of the church and you can tell by the, uh, by the actual uh, windows and the rectangular ones are down below. Uh, the ones that come to the point are up above. So the church was upstairs. What you are looking at is only the middle part of the stairwell. Where this yellow tape is there, and basically where the yellow tape is there, that's the actual width of the church. And it goes from the threshold 90 feet back. Marty went over there, measured 90 feet. You see that yellow caution tape line over there? That's the back of the church. So it would have been a gully, okay? It would have gone all the way down. Part of the gully you can still see, that natural hill that goes down there. It would have kept going down towards downtown, towards uh, the, the original downtown area, long before there was an interstate. The altar would have been on the opposite side. Um, so you can imagine linking up 90 feet this way and 50 uh, width wide. The Cathedral of St. John Berkman's, the school relocated 10 years later, sponsored by the parish and school of the Cathedral of St. John Berkman's and Loyola College Prep as well. So. So as we do with all physical objects, we ask blessings upon not so much the metal of, of an object, but those who spend time in front of it considering, uh, considering our past. So everyone, welcome back to the archeological dig site. This past Sunday, November 26th, the feast day of St. John Berkman's, we had an unbelievable showing of people, old and young, city councilmen, the president of the Louisiana State Historic Trust Fund was present as well. We had three different sites in which, in which we told everyone about this nice large site. This is the western wall closest to the I-49, the, the, the foundational pillar. You can even see one of the uh, pipes that we uncovered as well. We know that there's more there, but we're going to have to close this up pretty soon pretty soon. Let me show you the back part of our church. So we put back there a yellow caution line. So from the foundation of the church all the way back to the yellow tape, that's 90 feet. That's the length of the church. That's where it would have gone. Of course, there was not a hill going up. It would have been a hill going down. The altar would have been back there towards the back side. And this is where the exterior wall would have been. This is a support for the middle structure and also for the stairwell. So the, the threshold again, the doors would have opened. First floor would have been the parish hall. Second floor would have been the, the, the church itself. Now come with me to see what the state did for us. Our new historical marker regarding this whole entire site. It's been a great adventure. Thank you for joining me and my archaeological dig crew. I will come back with you to you with one more video when you'll actually see us enclosing some of the, uh, the, the, uh, the site itself. We will take a few artifacts out, like the threshold 
I'll tell you more about that the next time. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, Father Peter Mangan from the Cathedral of St. John Berkman's.